Hello, I hope you're well. In this tutorial, we are going to answer a YouTube viewer's questions. So let's go ahead and jump right in. This question comes from GERD, and it's in reference to tutorial 10, which is how to fade an LED. And this is for the Arduino course for absolute beginners. And that tutorial is one of the short course videos that's up on YouTube if you're interested. So she wants to know, is it possible to use one more than one LED? And she means fade more than one LED. She'd like, I would like a second LED to start when the first one is one third finished and the third LED to start, and that is start fading, when the first uh, LED is two thirds finished. So the answer to your question, the quick, quick answer is yes, it is possible, Gerd. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at one example. Now, when it comes to programming, there's always multiple ways of doing something. And the way that I'm going to do this is really not that eloquent but the way I do it it's I feel straightforward and so you'll be able to take a look at it and hopefully understand it so let's go ahead and take a look at the code so here we are in the Arduino IDE let's just open up the base sketch so if you go to examples basics fade this is a tutorial that Gerd was asking about so let's just walk through this real quick again if you're not familiar with this sketch, go to tutorial 10 because I'm just going to run through this because this this isn't about this sketch. It's about using multiple, fading multiple LEDs. So you up at the top here, we've got an LED variable, a brightness variable, and a fade amount. So brightness determines how bright the LED is going to be at any given point, and then fade amount is the variable that changes that brightness. All right, and then in the setup, we just declare the pin as an output. And then down in loop, what we do is an analog write. So we turn that LED to a set brightness. And then we adjust the brightness based on fade amount. So we're, we're combining brightness and fade amount. And then down here, what we do in order to get the fade up and the fade down effect is we have this if statement. And basically what it says is it says is if brightness is equal to 0 or if brightness is equal to 255, then change the sign of fade amount. So what happens then is, so, so first we start out brightness was equal to zero. So this says zero is equal to zero plus five. And so then brightness would be equal to five. And then the next time through the loop, brightness would be five plus five, that'd be 10. And then 10 plus five, 15, so on and so forth, till we get to 255. And then when brightness is equal to 255, we switch the sign of fade amount. So what happens next time through the loop? Now, 255 equals 255 plus negative five. So 255 plus negative 5 is 250. So you can see now the brightness starts to go down. And then you just delay 30 seconds between each adjustment so that you can see that fade. All right, so this is the initial program. And so Gerd wants to know, well, what if I want to blink three, or I'm sorry, fade three LEDs and do them in, a, in like a sequential order? So this is what I came up with. Again, not all elegant. I just took the, well, let's take what there is and make two more versions of each one. So instead of just one LED, you now I have three LEDs. I've labeled them LED 1, LED 2, LED 3. I've given them pins 9, 10, and 11. Those are all pins that we can do the uh, pulse width modulation with. And brightness, I've got three vari variables for brightness. So this is where I'm staggering the brightness. So the first one's going to start out being dark. Zero would be dark. 100 would be uh, between bright and dark and 200 would be more bright. And then I have three separate variables for fade amount. So fade amount one, fade amount two, and fade amount three. And these are all set to five. Now you might be thinking, couldn't you have just had one variable for fade amount since they're all equal to five? But the issue is, as we'll see, is when the value switches from a positive to a negative five. So let me just say this real quick here. So notice that this 200, this LED is gonna start bright. When it's going to get to 255 quicker than this one. And so what would happen if I only had one variable is this fade amount would go to minus 5. And so instead of this getting all the way up to 255, I would get to 55, and then it would turn into a negative 5 and start subtracting. It might, it'll probably make a little more sense down here once we get into the loop. But all right, so here's void setup. Uh, pin modes are set. That's pretty straightforward. Set the pins as outputs. And then here's the loop. So now notice analog write, I'm writing to the first pin, and I'm writing brightness 1. So what was brightness 1? Well, it was 0 to begin with. And then I'm writing to the second LED. What brightness? Um, brightness 2, what was that? That was 100. And then I'm writing brightness 3 to the third LED, and that was 200. So all of these are staggered. This one's dark, this one's kind of middle, and this one's uh, pretty bright. 
And then what do I do? I adjust each brightness variable independently. So now I'm adding the fade amount. Again, it's still the same fade amount. So this is all positive 5. And so these are all increasing. So now this is going to be 5. Or I'm sorry, brightness here will be 5. This will be 105, and this will be 205. And then I've got a if-else statement. And it's like an if, and then an else if, and then an else if. And basically, I just took that first one, and I... I say now if brightness 1 is equal to 0 or if brightness 1 is equal to 255, then switch the sign of fade amount 1. So you can kind of see what I did here, right? I just went down the line. I basically took everything in the program and I made three of them. You know, except I didn't make three delays. That wouldn't make any sense. But So that's one way to approach adding additional LEDs. Now, I will say this is not the perfect solution we're looking for. I mean, it does pretty close to what I think GERD wanted. And, you know, as you look at the LEDs, it almost looks like one is fading all the way and then the next one's fading all the way and then the next one. But that's actually not what is happening. The first one is fading, the middle one is fading, and the third one is fading. They're all fading um, at the same time. It's just in the higher levels of the LED, when the LED is like above 180, it's kind of hard to visualize. It's kind of hard to see the change in brightness. It kind of saturates. That brightness saturates a little bit. So, well, hey, that's it. Uh, I hope this was helpful, GERD. Again, there's about a million ways to write this, this code. Uh, uh, one good way to write this would maybe to compartmentalize a lot of these operations into some type of function. Um, that way we don't have to do so much typing, and it would be a bit more concise. So that would be a good, also a very good way of approaching it. Um, but, hey, for our purposes, I think this works. Now, if you're interested in uh, this video and, and learning more about Arduino, you can check out the Open Source Hardware Group website. Um, I'll make sure to, I'll, make, I'll put a link below to this code over on the website. So, hey, take it easy, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.